Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. Today we will learn about Angular components, all about Angular 8 components in our application. So we will talk about some of the basic things about what components are, how to use them, why are they important, how to architect our application around co Angular components. It's one of the most basic building blocks and in this this is part of the full tutorial angular full tutorial that you are listening if you haven't checked out our previous videos please do where we cover some of the basics of angular setup of angular applications and other important details let's get started my friends um, i want to request you to subscribe to my channel so you can get free help and advice if you face any problems any queries please drop in the comments i'll be happy to help you for free let's get started so what what exactly are angular components angular applications are built with concepts of smaller small building blocks also known as components components are the basic building blocks of any angular application we can build any number of components in our application the component based structure allows us to build simple reusable testable and modular applications let me give you an example if you are building a login management system Think of each th small piece as a component. For example, login is a component. Registration of a new user is a component. Forgot password is also a component. So you can break down the functionality into tiny features. Each feature can further be broken down into multiple reusable set of features called components. Let me tell you what it means in technical terms. In simple words, a component is nothing but a class which has its own template and style sheet attached to it. So you can design specific structure and look and feel and behavior of that component individually rather than designing as a whole or generic one. Also, like I said, a component has its own class. It has its own template. It's a style. So it becomes its own directive, which has its own behavior. How do we define a component? We define a component using the at the rate component decorator. Every application, even a basic vanilla installation app, will have at least one component. You would see app component, that's the default one. So every Angular application should have at least one component. Once we create components, we need to include them in the module file. Now it can be an ng module or a new one that you create as part of ng new module or it can be part of app module the the point is we need to have it included in the module file all right that's about little background and theoretical explanation about what angular components are now let's get started with our code so we are continuing to build on our application as part of our full series tutorial so we will continue to do so now so let's get started right now i am in the project folder i'll go one level up so here i am in the project directory which is agile board now you navigate into source file folder now you have our app go into the app folder and there we are here we will be generating the components so how do you generate a component we have seen in last previous video that we have used angular cli to generate component we will continue to do so if you are not familiar with the CLI tool to generate components, services, please refer to the previous video. Let's get started. So to generate a new component, we will type ng generate component and the component name. So I want to generate a component which says menu. So this I want to use this menu component across my app. So let's go ahead and generate this component. So as you can see, it will generate few files which are all related to this particular component. And also it will update our app.module. This is very important for it to be available in the application for our use. As part of the generation, it will generate a template file, which is HTML. It will generate a test file, which is .spec.ts. It will also generate the component class, which is our TypeScript class, and also SCSS, which is our style sheet for this particular component. Great. So let's go ahead and use this component now. So we generated this component. We will go here and I am going to quickly add some 
basic styling using ULLI. So we'll make it a menu. And I'm going to throw in few links. So we have our few links in the menu. You can you can put the class, everything, you can style it, you can decorate it. In the previous videos, we have seen how to install Bootstrap. We have seen how to install Material Design. So you can use one of the, any of the framework and you can even use those components. So for now, for this particular tutorial, I'm keeping it simple. We are generating, we are, we have generated a component by the name menu. I'm going, I'm editing some of the template files. Let's throw in some style as well for our UL and say background. Right. So there is a simple template. There is a style sheet and you open app.module.ts file you will see angular has already updated with our component details it's also included in our declarations in the ng module right so we are all set now where do we use it and how do we use it so in the template file go ahead and how do we use it so you would the important thing to note here is menu.component.ts file this is our class where we will be defining the behavior of this particular component we will come to that in just a bit but for now the important thing that you should see here is the selector selector is nothing but the tag name that we will want to use in our application throughout so the name here is app hyphen menu whenever we generate any component it would it would add app hyphen it will prepend it to that name of the component so in our case it is app hyphen menu copy this and then we go to our app component dot html include it there close the tag that's it so now we are using our component in app dot component dot html file so menu was the component menu was generated and now we are using it let's see it in action I'm going to use ng serve to serve the application. And now our application will get compiled. If there are no errors, you should see a successful message. Upon that, we should be able to see the output. All right. So, okay. So we see that the application has been successfully compiled. Now let's go to browser and make sure that we have it working. So we see that home about services contact menu is displayed in our browser in our app.component page great so we just generated a component and we learned how to use it in our app.component.file now let's do one last thing before we say before we end this episode so i'm going to use another so i'm going to show you shortcut now so if you notice earlier we had written the entire thing which is ng generate component component name instead we can also write ng g g stands for generate c stands for component so i'm going to generate and call it let's hmm, what do we call it um let's call it sidebar right so i'm generating a component which is sidebar i want it throughout my application so you can generate again again you see that we have got all our files auto generated the template html files the component test file and the actual component class and the style sheet you also notice that the app.module is again updated so if you go and see the app.module file we would see that that entry is already made in the sidebar in the app.module.ts file all right so which means the component is now available for us to start using it and we can also see in our project directory that there is a component which got generated sidebar so you go to component.ts file and you would see that the selector that's defined is app hyphen sidebar you can also change it if there is no hard and fast rule that you cannot change it 
you can say app sidebar menu you can even do that and then come to our app.component file and include that in our app.component file now in order to see since it's empty we are let's throw in some style and or just let's just say this is applications sidebar right now again let's serve and to see the output we should see both menu and sidebar templates getting displayed in our application and you will also notice once the app application compiles this will be auto reload automatically so we can see it is auto reloading and now we see menu component and then we see the application sidebar which means we can easily now manage the components the menu is separated the code is segregated out the services are say in separate folder which means they are easy to include easy to remove easy to update easy to maintain if you don't want it just remove it that's it so it's easy it becomes more like plug and play kind of components in the application that you can add anywhere you can remove the components anywhere which makes it very easy when you're working with a distributed team this is all about the components so before we close this episode i want to show you one complementary add-on trick all right so far if you see the what we have generated is the components and they are getting added into our main app dot component dot we are adding them in the app dot component dot html and the entry was made in app dot module dot ts but if you have a certain specific module you can add it to that particular module that's what i'm going to cover in the coming tutorials so stay tuned in the next tutorial i'm going to cover directives very very important part don't forget to watch it thank you so much for joining in this episode this was all about components please do subscribe to my channel if you have any technical query doubt concerns feel free to add it in the comments i will provide you free help and advice on the same thank you so much for joining this is arc tutorials complete full tutorial on angular 8 components thank you so much for joining